Hi, my name is Anzala Basi. Watch me on Late Night with Suhail Hashmi on Visual Works only on YouTube. Welcome to Late Night. My name is Suhail Hashmi. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. The person who we've got on today, who is our special guest, is number one, she's so young. Number two, she's so beautiful. She has recently been a jazz singer as well, apart from an actor and a model, and the family that she comes from, what can we say? So ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Anzala Abbasi. One of the most sweetest and cutest people, young artist I have met in my life in Pakistan, and I wonder to myself, do I have a daddy complex? <laughs> The one and only Anzala Abbasi. Sweetheart, how up? are you? How are you? How are you? So good to see you. Yeah, so good to see you too. It's been so long. We haven't uh, hung out properly. No, we haven't. Yeah. Uh, it's just so nice to see you. You too, um, yeah. Now and, yeah. uh, you know, jazz singer? Jazz singer. You jazz singer? <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> I you try. try my that, that was like, my God, old men, young men, women, <laughs> everyone was like, all over the place with this. Oh my God. What a sexy piece of work that thank was. You, thank you, thank that you, thank you. That is amazing. When thank did you, you just, I mean, we met on, a, on an acting set, yeah, right? Yeah, we did, we did. A, a terrible one. A t <laughs> Definitely a terrible one. But we really liked each other. We did, it was really Because nice. I know your family and you yeah. are absolutely. Yeah. I, I, too much praise for this young lady, too thank much you, praise for you. her talent. So how did, how did you discover this? And how did you discover uh, that you had this voice and that you had this really, really sensual voice and and how did you dis discover being a jazz singer? So, um, when I was really young, um, my uncle and I, Gibran, um, we, him and I used to like, we used to jam together, so he plays the guitar really well and right. then uh, when I was growing up, my dad made me listen to a lot of um, Sade. Um, I listened to generally like a lot of jazz because right. everyone, Fantastic. yeah. So everyone was constantly um, musically educating me ever mm -hmm. since I was really young. Mm -hmm. So um, as I had the conscience to basically learn what I want to listen to, I started listening to Adele, Pink, Christina Aguilera, just women with like super strong voices, I guess. Yeah. And then eventually from there, I started to want to sing myself because I felt like I could do it. Right. Um, and then there was a whole time where like, I was in LA and I was, um, I was in high school over there and they had a mm. choir. Right. And that choir taught me so much mm. um, in terms of how to control my voice and all of that. And it was such a good experience. Mm. It was great. How old yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was like a communal thing. So everyone did it together. And, there was like a bunch of like, I think 60 kids who were just in this class together. And the sultry voice situation, I mean, the development of the voice. Yeah. I mean, it was already there or was it developed or what happened? You just... I think I... Uh, bang! Yeah, I think I had to really discover it. I think mm. I had to tell myself that um, if I can talk nice, then maybe uh -huh. I can sing nice. Right. You know, so it was a... It was Beautiful. A, so it's a, it was a sort of like... It was self-confidence. Yeah, it was like a realization that because I, I felt like I didn't have to make my voice into anything. You wow, know? Yeah. wow. It's really funny you should say that because I remember when my daughter uh, yeah. was being born, I was outside uh, the room and, and yeah. the doctors were, were playing uh, Smooth Operator by oh, Sade. That's so sweet. So my daughter was born under the sounds smooth. of Smooth. Yeah, that, yeah. That's so good. And I that's, love oh, that. Wow, this is... This is this is getting a bit too sweet. <laughs> this is too sweet. I love uh, it. But this is uh, really, really um, amazing. Um, don't want to talk too much about your family because you are your family. And it's, <laughs> this is all about you. But uh, what I can say is what a well brought up uh, girl you are and, and thank what you, thank uh, you. committed people you have in your family who are, uh, you know, and it just keeps on getting better and better and better. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, tomorrow you, you're going to be a fighter jet pilot? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yes, uh, so do I. I really hope not. I really hope you know? not. I really love flying these jets, you know? Just like zooms away. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, 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 I tell you. So this is really great. We have quite a few uh, sections and segments right. uh, in what we're, what we're doing. And uh, so one of the segments that, that we have that I would like to talk to you about yeah. uh, is um, about a deep conversation. We call it deepings. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you laughed at that. Why did you laugh at Deepings? Deepings. I don't know. Deepings. It just sounds weird. 
she pink. got it. One person got it. Deep the pink. producer is going to be taking, you know, <laughs> he's going to be really happy about it. You this. should think about that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that is very good. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, you think <laughs> so Deepings is a, is a, is a section um, that we have. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to ask you, um, as a professional, right. acting and being in this profession, is it lonely? Is it a lonely situation to be in? Because you're by yourself when the light goes on. When you, how do you feel about that? I think it is a pretty lonely job, actually. Just generally, um, even when you're like, even when they say action, it's like it's, you're the only person who can, you know, act the way that you are told to act. I guess, and mm -hmm. there's a certain like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, like you're you're on set literally like 12 hours a day mm -hmm. for like three months and right. you don't get time to yourself either like mm -hmm. you go home and you're like okay maybe I'll shower and I'll go to sleep but that's all you have time for because the next day you have to wake up and you have to go to set all over again mm -hmm. and even and, when you're and there pretend really and pretend to be really happy about it yeah. and if not too happy about it then if you're like super happy on like a really good day and you go to work and your character like my character in Gila mm -hmm. all I did was cry so if I had a good day on set, it was like me going back to another whole stage of depression for some reason. You know what I mean? So you get so like pulled into the character, I guess, if you know, you're really committed to your character. It's really hard for you to get out of it, get out of that mind state that your character's created for you, I guess. So, yeah. She's telling me at the age of 20 something. 23. 23? 23. <laughs> No, you're right, because um, people over here, like, not even people, I guess, like, my, the whole generation under me is, like, you know, they have smartphones, they have Google, they have, like, so much shit that they could use to, like, mm. research, and, you know, yes. they have so much knowledge that they can take in. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's kind of educating them and wising them up even more than, mm. um, you know, we could back then, I guess. Mm. And I can't say that because I'm not, you know, I'm not too old and I'm not too young either, but still, like... They're much smart. I've, I've met kids that are 16, 17. They're a lot smarter than I am. Mm. And it's crazy to me because I'm just like, oh my God, like, how are you? You were just born yesterday. <laughs> like, stop. You're just a little angel, yes. aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. You, yes, 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 yes. I am. Okay. Oh, great, great. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you feel the industry is going? How, how are you growing in within or evolving within this industry? And uh, yeah, I'll do that. And then I was going to say, how do you feel about digital? But I'll ask you that later. <laughs> okay. So how do you feel about it now? Is it? Um, so our industry is low key dying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's low key dying. Low key dying. Low key dying. That's another show we're going to be on. <laughs> low key dying. <laughs> low key dying. <laughs> low key dying. <laughs> 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 but no, it's dying in the uh. sense where TV is definitely dying. And I feel mm. like. Um, I don't know, you're just showing, especially for like people who are working on TV and stuff, I feel like you're just showing them what you want to show them. You're not showing mm. them what they want to watch. You're not mm. showing them anything new. You're not showing them something exciting. You're not teaching them about mental health or you're not giving them sex education. You're not, you're not mm. teaching them about being a better person. Instead, all you're teaching them about is, oh, sas bahu ke masle. Or, deva chhod ke chala gaya. And you know, just like stupid, Stupid stories like that that are over repetitive and just like overused and people mm. are kind of sick of watching that stuff now. I have a vlog yeah. um, situation. One of my things is that when I taught at school, yeah. what you're saying is absolutely true. Why aren't we taught about finance? Yeah. Why aren't we taught about how, why not to use a credit card or yeah. how to use a credit yeah. card? Why aren't we taught about mortgages and what to do? Because when you get out into the real, real life, world, yeah. What are you going to be doing with exactly. the Pythagoras theory? Yeah. What are you going to be doing with the chemistry? I don't think we use that that much. Yeah. Apart from a few chemistry, which we've had yeah. with people that we know and which also involves <laughs> that. I would say even a little bit of physics, <laughs> uh, but you know, you're absolutely yeah. right. Uh, that uh, you know, we uh, uh, we should. We can be. use this platform to teach uh, our whole ass country. Mm. and we're not using it correctly mm. and we're just sitting around on big ideas and you know artists and mm. people and 
um, stories that are like just dying to be out there and for people to listen to. We have so mm -hmm. much content, but personal, our own content. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you're gonna find a guy on the street that's gonna be playing a beautiful fucking instrument, mm -hmm. and yet no one's gonna recognize him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because no one wants to cover him. No one wants to get him out there into the world. No one wants mm -hmm. to show that oh, Pakistan has something beautiful in it. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, let's just. Like, let's just go on a Pakistan tour and that's beautiful. Like, no, we have other shit going on in the city mm. that we need to talk about. There's mm. murder, there's rape, there's so many other things happening that mm. nobody's talking about, you know? Mm. So educate your country, man. Like, y'all, <laughs> educate your freaking country, bro. So tell, tell me about the American accent, oh. my dear. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where has the accent? <laughs> Where and when and why? 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 <laughs> Did this happen? Um, I have a lot of family living in America. Okay. I used to visit them when I was a kid, and um, I used to read a lot. I used to read a lot. I used to watch a lot of like American cartoons, a lot of like American shows, like growing up here and there. Mm. And I never really got along with anyone in Pakistan. So when I went to live abroad, I went to high school there, and I developed more of an accent over there. In, mm. in fact, like when I went to America, people over there were like, "You don't have an accent. You don't look like you're from Pakistan." So for them, me having a dart up part of sort of an accent <laughs> was supposed to be my accent. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah. yeah. So for them, I didn't have an accent. For people over mm -hmm. here, I apparently have an American accent, which is fun for me. Yeah. Tata Pata. Tata Pata. word we just made up. Tata, Tata Pata. Pata, but that's British. Uh, <laughs> in the oh, British, in the most British yeah. way possible. So do you, I mean, I know I'm a little um, racist on this, um, and I shouldn't really be, but uh, do, you, do you like the English accent? Do you think the English accent is nice? Because you can understand what the person is saying. Yes, I actually do really like it. Or perhaps, or yes. whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I have a best friend who lives in um, London, so I grew up with her. She has a very strong English accent, mm -hmm. and uh, it was always like, Anzala. So it was never like, Anzala, it was always like, Anzala, can you pass me the salt? And I was always like, oh my god, like, yes, yes, here's all the salt in the world. <laughs> it is a very a beautiful name. The only name that I have known, Anzala, is yourself. Um, who named you? And my, why and what does Anzala mean? My grandfather named me. Okay. Um, and it means God gifted. Right. Yeah. Or Nazil Kiwi or right. however you want to. Well, he knew it. Yeah. He knew it. I guess. He I knew mean. what was going to happen. You know, <laughs> he, like, yeah. he knew it. He knew it. Yeah, okay. You <laughs> well, caught me as well. Oh, oh marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Yes. Who is that someone special in your life? Uh, my cat, Sushi. Okay. <laughs> I love eating sushi. <laughs> I have a cat named Sushi. Her full name is Sushi Wasabi. She's the one special. Wasabi. Sushi Wasabi. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And I love her, and she is my one and only. Okay. And uh, yeah, I am very, very single. Okay. And very happy to not mingle. All right. <laughs> okay. So, so from that, I get there is no a one special person in your life no. uh, yet. No. Um, and it seems to me maybe you may <laughs> not be interested. But anyway, w would you be interested in having that nice young one person in your life, or are you? I feel like uh, I feel like everybody would. You know, mm. I feel like everyone wants that one person, one special person in your mm. life. But I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, why have one I'm, when you can I'm have another sixteen, seventeen? Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> going on a different point and, yeah. and, and keeping with this theme. Yeah. You know this one and a half, two years of the COVID uh, controversy and yeah. stuff that has been happening, it yeah. has allowed a lot of us to think about a lot of things. And I don't know whether that helped you want to do other projects mm -hmm. or look at yourself in, in other ways or whatever. But I feel that that has uh, you know, maybe calmed us down a little bit, although it's been a terrible thing uh, to have. What are your really views has. on this? Um, yeah, it really, I think uh, it kind of stopped the whole world mm -hmm. and I feel like everyone just got a break from all the stresses that they had in life mm -hmm. which is oh, mm -hmm. oh hello mm -hmm. um, and yep. Uh, yep. I I don't know it was I think it was a great little like um, time off from okay. working and being stressed about things and mm -hmm. I'm sure it was really stressful for like you know people who didn't have like jobs for like so long like a yes. year and a half and stuff but um, 
I don't know. I think it gave people time to reflect on themselves. Were we able to reinvent ourselves? No. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we just got time off. Like it was just like it was just like a weekend that we got. And now we're just like moving forward with it. Like we're like okay Monday. Let's we go. just Let's got go. time off. <laughs> we just got time off. So we played baseball. Fuck yeah. In the garden. <laughs> In the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. This is uh, this is uh, this is amazing. Now there is another segment that I cannot wait to do with you. <laughs> really looking forward. This is like one of those film noir segments. Right. So it's like we're in a, we're in a, uh, a, a black and white movie when you weren't born. Okay. Uh, this is not the 60s, 70s, or the 80s when <laughs> right. you weren't born. Yeah. Uh, the 90s, yeah. you, were, you were born, or you were born in the 2000s, you were born in... 90s. 90s. Thank you. Oh, right, 1998. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's so stamped. if you ever forget... Right. When I was born, when you were born, you just look at yourself. I was, okay, I'm I was like, born. oh, yeah, yeah, right, uh, right, I remember. Do you have your date of birth yet? Said, said, you know. I believe you. We believe you. We it's, believe you. We're born. Now if I want to get in the uh, club, I don't have to lie about it. Right. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's, that's very painful. <laughs> it is. Was it painful? It was. It was pretty painful. Why do we do it to ourselves? I don't know. It's addicting for some reason. Mm. I mean, do you have tattoos? I'm thinking about them now. Now, yes. what do you no, want to get? No, but I tell you what I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking of what a Shamoon type tattoo would be like all oh, over yeah. the front and all over the back, but but action transfers. I mean, it can't come off after six months. I wouldn't want to. Oh, so you yeah. want like a temporary tattoo? Yeah, temporary. Does that happen? Can you? Can that be done? Uh, Not that you're a tattoo artist, but uh, I mean, but you're so talented. One never knows. <laughs> if someone is to give me pain, I want her to give me pain. I'll do it. She can give me pain. You I volunteer for tribute. Give me pain. Okay. It's pretty, pretty deep on that. So let us go to the film noir section. What's going to happen is I'm going to click my fingers and then we are going to be in a situation. Situation. And uh, we're going to do that right here, right now. Here we go. Hello, you're a beautiful jazz singer. I just love the way you, you sing. Would you sing Goldfinger for me that was done by Shirley Bassey. What's Goldfinger? Uh, I haven't heard of that. Uh, is any other jazz song that you know that, that you'd be able to sing for me? Like what? Um, any sophisticated song. Where are you from? I'm from London. You know, I don't like British people. <laughs> but you, you've got a British accent. But I'm not British, that weirdly. It sounds like a British accent. <laughs> Does it actually? Oh, shit. I go really like that. But, you, but, you, but you've got a little bit of a British accent. And... Yeah, that's because I like making fun of them. You make... Wait, does this sound like an like an Australian accent? It, it, like... it's, it's a mix. It's a mix I feel like that. I'm like tracking yeah. towards that side. Yeah. Um, where were we? <laughs> we? We were wanting you to sing something for us. Would you sing something for us? A is very... <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I All I wanted was to hear a little song. But I don't want to sing you a song. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was really good. You've just taken the piss out of my brain. <laughs> That's what you've done. You've taken, the, you've taken all your revenge. No, but I appreciate uh, it you. so Thank much, you. though. Well, you know, because you appreciate it so much, uh, and you said you're not going to sing for me, but could they be? Uh, uh, but before I ask you, have you been, have you been engaged in doing a song with Ali Zafar? Yes, I have actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. Him and uh, Danny, okay. Daniel Zafar, and we are coming out with that project very soon. Actually, it's a surprise project. So, yeah. Check when will out. that happen? When do you think this will happen? Ali Zafar, wow, and you, yeah. wow. Yeah. Hopefully, in maybe um, I think. A month or two, it'll okay. be out for sure. I don't know um, whenever this gets uploaded. For like, sure, yeah. when it comes for out, will sure. you come? Will you come back to? Uh, will you come back to? <laughs> yes. uh, to talk about it when this happens. Yeah, happens. definitely. Wow. I would love okay. That. So, would you be able to sing a little song for us, or a line, or or, or, or something? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Would you happen to have a plastic cup on you? Funny you should say that. Oh. Really funny you should say that. Oh. Um, is this true? <laughs> yes, mm. that is perfect. I love right. that. It matches my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, it's a little. It's a little. I think you uh, pressed it too hard. Okay. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's, it's uh, the effect that I'm getting. <laughs> <at the moment. laughs> okay, wait. 
Let me, I'm gonna reposition myself. Yes, please do. Please and do. I will um, come and sit up here if that is all right. Lovely. Now I am on the corner of the chair. Yes. And uh, I would like to give you guys a little bit of a history about the cup song. Right. The so cup song. Okay. The cup song. So okay. I haven't. I didn't really invent it. Right. <laughs> Everyone in Pakistan thinks that uh, Anjala Basi, insane mm. talent. It's not my talent. I insane genuinely, talent. Insane <laughs> talent. So I genuinely learned it off of a movie that I saw um, a very long time ago. I think you guys remember. It's called Pitch Perfect. Um, and all I did was just figure out the beat. So mm. what I like to do now is I like to put my own songs in it, and I used to I like to kind of work around the same beat, and, but just like with my own songs. Okay. So um, I'm gonna sing you a little bit of a snippet of um, this song that I'm about to do with um, Ellie and um, Danny. So yeah. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Sixteen hours later. You're thank welcome. You. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, let's go. Looked inside your head, you're not thinking straight. Why'd you lie about it? Said it's going great. Took you like forever just to see my face. Now you're leaving town, and it's not the same. Not the same. Not the same, baby. Yeah, it's not the same. Not the same. I'm going a bit insane. Bit insane, baby. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's, it's not the, the same. same. Oh, wow, oh, it's wow, gone. Wow, wow. It like gone? flew off. Oh wow! Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into position really quick. Mm. Thank you for your uh, cup. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this. Thank you. For the Please rest do. of my life. <laughs> Thank you. I will not put any specimens or any other liquid in this <laughs> to give to any hospital anywhere. Ever. <laughs> I will keep this. Thank you. Please because do. Because of you. I love you. Because of you. <laughs> love you too. Okay. This can go on for another 68 hours. Ever, ever so. Uh, you know, there's so much yes. uh, to cover with you and so much. Uh, but uh, the time seems to not be our friend uh, at the moment. But I would request you to come back. And, I would uh, love to, uh, actually. Know, uh, do that. But I also wanted to um, ask you, uh, is there anything mm -hmm. that from this platform you right. would like to say to your fans or you'd like to say about anything that you feel that you would like to. So if there is anything, now is the time and the place to, 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 to give out your, your message of, um, well, I can't say love and peace and all the rest <laughs> of it, but um, whatever message it is that you'd like to give out to. Fans, haters, the industry. Right. Um, you know, well. Uh, I don't know. First thing I would like to say is um, Never stop being different. Like if you're different, always embrace, um, you know, yourself and um, the differences that you have, and you know, embrace other people's differences and celebrate them with people. And I feel like that's really that's something that we don't have enough in this industry as well. Mm -hmm. And for the industry, I don't know. I just want to say, like, work on your stuff, bro. <laughs> like, do better. <laughs> I feel like you can do so much better, mm -hmm. and you're just not doing better. So do better. Um, and yeah, just be yourself, be good, be kind, mm -hmm. and um, do better things, just work on better things, manifest better things, I guess. Let me tell you why I specifically agree with that. Yeah. It's because if you work on yourself, you will make yourself happy. Yeah. And if you make yourself happy, then you may be able to make other people happy. I agree. I completely it, it agree. Comes from, it, it comes from here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It has you. been such a pleasure for me. No, it's an honor uh, being to, here. To man. talk to you yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, seeing you after all these years and you remembering yeah, that, of course. that wonderful time yeah. that we had. Uh, I wish you all the love and the happiness, you and your family. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the lovely young Anzala Abbasi, forever young. <laughs> um, I shall see you in the next episode. 
do let us know what you thought about this uh, this feisty episode uh, <laughs> that you saw uh, today in uh, in the comments. I shall see you again next week. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless.